In this video, I'm going to demonstrate controlled articular rotations, focusing on the hip joint, the joint between the pelvis and the femur. Controlled articular rotations explore range of motion, but in my own experience, they're also an amazing tool for developing awareness. When I had sciatica, pain in my sciatic nerve running down to my right shin, this practice was really beneficial in developing a focused awareness on the one joint so that it was almost as if, I don't totally know the science, but it was almost as if my body became more trusting of my own awareness of it. And in my body's ability to trust me, it was able to relax more and lessen some of the pain. I don't totally know if that's what's scientifically going on, but this, this was like night and day for me in dealing with sciatic nerve pain. Okay, so come to all fours. Hands grounded underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. First thing you do want to do is engage the core muscles to keep the spine stable. We don't want any vertebra moving here. We, we're only exploring range of motion in the joint between the pelvis and the femur. So go into abduction of the femur swinging the knee upward, then inward rotation. The knee is going to stay in the same place as the femur rotates. Then move into adduction and extension of the hip joint. No extension in the spine. And then back underneath. And then do that in the other direction. Extension. And then do it on the other side. You can also do this standing next to a wall. So stand with your feet, hips width distance, place your hand against the wall, and we're going to start with the leg closest to the wall. Inward rotation. about as much extension as I can do. And then do the other side. We can also explore mobility in the thoracic spine. Stand with your back against the wall and have a pillow. You should feel the wall against the back of the hips. You should feel the wall against the thoracic spine, which will give you a sense of where the lumbar curve is. So dig down deep through your feet, engage your core, press the pillow against your chest. Now find flexion in the cervical spine. And now as we find flexion in the thoracic spine, we're going to peel one vertebra away from the wall at a time. Go as far as you can while still keeping the last thoracic vertebra before the lumbar curve touching the wall. 
not going to peel away entirely from the wall. One vertebra at a time. Once you're at that last vertebra, rotate to one side. Keeping that last vertebra of the thoracic spine touching the wall. Then lower that shoulder downward. Only moving the spine. The shoulder itself isn't moving. Shoulder joint isn't moving. Come back up. Rotate back to center. Do the other side. Well, first flexion in the cervical spine, flexion in the thoracic spine. 